Today on the farm we're doing a little tree work. Tree work is one of the most dangerous things I do, including all the other farm tasks. This is a very old ash tree, uh, probably 200 years old or more. It's much bigger than the video makes it look. Most of it fell down in a storm, unfortunately, but it left a widowmaker here, a dead limb hung on a live limb for me to deal with. Tree working basics. This is a throwing ball. It's a sandbag and that is polyline. Uh, both of these are made for this purpose. You can get them from tree supply companies. They're made for throwing the line up in limbs, high in trees. Often takes a few throws. Here my first try. I get a little too many limbs in there. So pull that back down. Give it another go. And that one I just missed. I'm trying to get the dead limb. My plan is to rope that dead limb, hook it to the tractor, pull it down, and then I can safely chainsaw the rest of the tree down. That was my plan at least. You'll see it doesn't quite work out that way. And there's another throw that looked like a good one. Got the line right over top of the dead limb, didn't catch anything else. So now I tie a rope. This is also a rope for this purpose you get from tree companies. And pull it up over the limb and then tie a slip knot on it. And now I've got that limb roped off. This is the direction I'm going to pull it. Bring the tractor over. Hook it to the forks. And a quick note of caution, when you're pulling on something like this, you always have to be aware that something might break, the unexpected may happen, and you'll see when I do pull, I keep the forks low to the ground, that's where the rope is being pulled towards, so that it's going to snap towards that point and not towards me up on the tractor. Also, cables are far more dangerous than ropes, because they hold a lot more tension and have a lot more energy when something breaks. They snap much farther and much more destructively. Basically, don't do something like this unless you have someone who knows what they're doing that can direct you. Shut up and get on with the pole. All right, sorry. I wasn't expecting that. So first we give it the old state road crew looky-loo, then decide to rope the remaining hanger. Give it another pull. It balances for just a moment and then comes toppling down. That about wraps it up. A little more work to do, but the Widowmaker's gone and it's just basic chainsaw work from here.